Hello, 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 hello. Dirty trucking, dirty trucking. Oh, man. I was just waiting. See, when, when you try to get help and when you try to seek help, just wait. I, 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 I didn't put it in your ear. Wait. Wait. The, the, the snakes is going to surface. What has been happening to me at Uber and what is going on at Hertz, it, 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 them snakes, people that was wanted to do that shit and wanted to cause what was going to happen to me. And it's, it's the same here on my YouTube. I told you. And then establish a GoFundMe page. It was just a matter of time. I want to see how many days it's going to take before them snakes get on here and start talking their crap. Tell me I'm just sitting around on the couch doing nothing. First of all, you don't know what I'm doing. Second of all, where else am I going to sit? I'm in my apartment. I'm on the fucking couch. I sleep on the couch. I sit on the couch. Where else am I, what else am I going to do? Until I started that GoFundMe page, I didn't have no money. I ain't got no money. I had, well, I think about $70 cash and $23 in the bank. My other account that I used to pay for my rental is overdrawn by $355. But you sit here and talk at me like I'm sitting around here on my ass, like I just up and quit a job. Because I don't want to do the job. You better do a fact check before you comment. And I'm getting sick of that. And that uh, the dude from Alabama, look here. Let me tell you something. I may sound southern. People say I sound southern. I get it from my father. My father is from Mississippi. Lar, Mississippi. But this is Detroit you talking to. We don't play that shit, you talking. You need to have some sympathy in your comments about what I'm being put through. Or how about this? Don't comment at all. Had somebody say, I think that was him. I don't know if that was him. I think that was him. How am I not the problem? How is this not my fault? That's what he said. Answer your own question. How is this my fault? I want you to explain to YouTube in your comment how all this that happened at Hertz was my fault. How I didn't know about the bill and how the bill popped up, how I created a fake invoice and how I told all these lies and how nobody even knew about the invoice till it popped up. How I placed my own self on a do not rent list three weeks in a row. In a row. To be told I owed some money from four months ago, called me out to turn in the car because they wouldn't take me off the do not rent list because they knew I didn't owe. So, tell my fans and other commenters that's popping on here because they just want to get on here and have a snake-like voice. I want you to tell my commenters in a detailed explanation or how me sitting up here on my ass not being able to work because I have no car is my fault. Don't you explain that. Or otherwise you can get off my site. I don't tolerate that. Where well, there's sympathy due, you need to be doing some sympathy. You sitting up talking all this shit. Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you something. You saw my GoFundMe page. What's your name? Let me scroll and see if you wanted the donators. Did you donate anything? No. I doubt you did. Because I can tell by the way you talk and you mentioned the other donations. So that let me know with my intelligence that you didn't donate. You didn't help. You didn't try to help. But what you want to do is get on here and spit venom to try to prevent other people from helping. This is what they were doing at Uber. They was getting the car lying on me, trying to cost me my job. Now, Hurst created a bill out of nowhere that cost me the car to do the job. 
This is what snake venomous people do. I'm just waiting. You know, the commenter mentioned, she, a uh, commenter made a suggestion. Why don't you, you know, you got a lot of followers. Why don't you create your GoFundMe page? I tried that before when Warren Truck Plant did what they did to me. I didn't get any help. Matter of fact, they, they talking about they couldn't find my account. I gave it a shot. And like I said, I'm thankful for every dollar that's been donated. It's more than I had. Even if I don't get nothing else. It's more than I had. I had $70 cash on me and $23 in my bank account and a negative $355 in my other account. Not able to go to the store because I told you I'm not catching no bus. They don't put all this weight on me to where lo walking long distance is a step. I'm feeling fatigue in my chest. But they want to sit up and talk at me like they my medical doctor. You want to get on here talking about how your 70-year-old dad is able to pass a physical. I'm not your 70-year-old dad. First of all, you got a male body. I'm a female. Our genetic makeup is different. What's going on with y'all body ain't the same thing going on with my body. Well, maybe if you experience what I'm experiencing, go in your refrigerator, let the motherfucker slip something in your food and beverage like they did me. And then two seconds later, you feel like you blowing up. Then you can experience what I'm experiencing. But until then, I would be careful comparing your situation to somebody else's situation because I'm not you. They not you. They health is not yours. You don't know what's going on with my health because you're not my damn doctor. Talking about, will you do whatever it takes to, to, to be on a truck? I'm not going to take pills because I know what they try to do when they try to get me to take them pills before. I'm not going to let nobody prescribe me no pills and slip me shit through a pill and take my ass out listening to somebody on here. Talking about what they going to do, what they got to do. I did what I had to do. Y'all keep forgetting that I'm fucking 53. And evidently you don't realize I've been in transportation since 1993. For that motherfucker that's in Alabama talking all that shit. I've been in transportation since 1993. Were you even born then? Just because you got a picture of your truck for your little icon, that don't mean shit to me. I've been in transportation a long time. You coming out here hollering about you on a truck. Motherfucker, I done drove a bus, a car, a shuttle bus, a heavy haul, I done haul lift axle trailers, a drive van. You hollering about what you done done. Motherfucker, I done done probably more your ass. I done worked in a plant. Assembly. Ooh, ooh, what have you done? You hollering about what you doing on the truck right now. You better, let me tell you something. You better thank God that you not a targeted individual like me. Because if you were, then your comments would be different than what you're saying now. They would be along the lines of what I've been saying and making in my videos. Don't compare a 70-year-old goddamn man to me. I ain't got shit swinging between my motherfucking legs. I ain't got to cough when I have an exam for they to feel some balls. I don't stand up when I piss. And I don't walk in the bathroom that say men. So don't compare me to your fucking situation. See, I don't do, that's why I'm thinking, and how many days, when did I create that GoFundMe? What, is this day number three of it? Ooh, is it day number three? I don't remember when I started it. Day number three, snakes is out. 
all the commenters on that last, not the, it's a video posted after this one. This video I'm making is a video just posted, but the one before that, three videos back after I post this one, count this one, next one, the next one after that. All of them on there, but two people talking that old venomous snake shit. Look where I'm at. I'm on the couch. I'm going to make your motherfucking ass mad right now. I'm sitting on the couch because you want to know why? So I ain't got no equipment to go perform my job. I got to either sit on a couch or a chair to use my phone or my tablet to do any type of job search. Or maybe Alabama would prefer I sit on the floor like a dog. Want me to bark for you? You want me to kiss your ass? You want me to bark for you? While you're here spitting that venom about me, I've been going through this shit for years. And to that commenter, talking about I blame everything on Warren Truck, yes, I do. Warren Truck Plant is the cause of all this shit. They all doing it because of that shit happened there. When I told my story on social media, everybody been doing that shit. Oh, fuck, you think these jobs don't know who I am when I get there? They already know who I am when I get there. That's why that shit starts. They be on here on YouTube looking for signs, waiting with a goddamn, with that bionic ear, waiting for me to say something to give them a, a sign where I'm at on my next job. Like they is now. Talking about you need to get up off. Like I'm sitting, sitting on my motherfucker. Don't you ever get on my motherfucking site and accuse me of being fucking lazy. Being the, the problem. Playing a fucking victim. You got that shit all wrong. You want the world to believe your little twisted sick narrative. Instead of the truth of what's going on here. Every time I see one of your comments, you got it coming from me. Because I don't play that shit. Don't get on my motherfucking site while I'm going through something that I'm going through now that I ain't got no business going through. Talk no doggish shit to me. Talk no cruel shit to me. Talk no hateful shit to me. And don't damn compare me to you talking that I could do this shit to me. You a man. Men out here trying to dominate everything. Men is out here able to do everything. It's different from me. Men don't get treated the way I did in trucking. And it's not all men sitting up there talking like these commenters on here. I got males on there. I can tell, realize what's going on. That's why I told that commenter who said what he said. And I'm going to say it again. You show a person who you really are by the way you talk. By your comments. How you respond to something. And I can tell that Alabama guy if he was up here in Detroit right now and saw me laying out homeless on the curb with a blanket over me. He had still spit venom in my face while I was laying on the ground. The other one, he he talked about when uh, I had a comment and asked how much my rent. My rent is seventeen fifty six. Seventeen fifty six. That's my rent. Had a comment that said she wasn't trying to get in my business. And how much is your rent? She just trying to help. My rent is $17.56. I live in a luxury tower apartment. I've been here almost two years. I had a commenter get on here and say, $1,800, that's too high. Poor people shouldn't be living there. You need to get you a room, rent you a room. Oh, now I'm poor. Because I'm not working. Now I got to be poor. Because I'm not. I don't care if I ain't got a dime in my bank account. Before this happened. Happened. I was paying my bills. 
I was paying $1,756 in rent. I've been here exactly one year in 10 months. June to make two years. My lease is up in August. But due to what Hearst's did, my lease is probably going to be up next month. If I don't get this rent up or find some way to get out of this. And I just look at your commenters on here. And this, this, this dude that's saying that look like you damn near half my motherfucking age. You ain't made the money I made. You ain't lived the life I lived. You ain't had what happened to me happen to you. I've made six figure income for years. Six. But they ruined it. Made it look like that was some extravagant income. But it wasn't. I didn't get all six of the income. I got McDonald's and Burger King money of that income. Being an independent contractor. That's how I got in debt. They make that six figure look good to take all them deductions out and you see what you really made. And when you find out what you made wasn't even worth you being out there on that truck, putting all that money and investing in that damn shit, running across the damn states. My life story ain't your life story. But I'll be damned if you're going to get on my site, start spitting venom about me when I'm down and out, talking shit about what you don't know, critiquing my videos, Throwing back in my face about she already said she ain't going to look for no job. Yes, I did say that. And there's a meaning for that. No, why should I have to look for a job? I didn't cause myself not to be without a job. I need a car to get back to work. And until one of these investigations resolve that issue, I have no choice but to sit here in my apartment. Good for you, you got a job. I'm not a man. I can't go in there and demand with that man, man shit. I'm a female. When I was out there in the industry, they didn't want me in the industry. When I was out there in the industry, they kept me upset. Trying to get me upset to, when it's time for fear. Right before, it was always a few months before my physical was due. They started getting me upset. So when I go take the physical, they can talk about I had high blood pressure. Give me reduced physicals and all this other shit. But you want to get on here and talk about how easy it is for you to get a physical. I'm 50 goddamn three. You don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not you. Your man body is different than mine. So don't, how fucking dare you sit up here and compare, compare me to you. You took a video of me thanking the ones that was donating and had donated to help me out in my situation. A video that showed my refrigerator barely empty. I can't go grocery shopping. I don't have no car. I'm not lugging that shit back on the bus no more. You took a video of me thanking these people for their donations to get on here and green light yourself for your snake venomous ass shit. And I want all my donators, the people who decided to help me, I want you to read. It's the third video back from this one. Count this video, next video, and that third video. Pull it up. Look at the comments. It's the same ones spitting that venom every time. That Alabama ass motherfucker. That John Battle. John Battle. Don't Never surface until I'm in a loss of income situation. They fake. They phony. They get on here and to try to prevent. 
and I already know what you're doing. All that shit you talking, all that specific shit you saying, mentioning, talking about she always says she ain't gonna look for no job, and she's sitting around, ain't doing shit, and all this shit. I already know what that shit is about. You seen these people were kind enough to help with their donations, and now you in here doing what y'all evil ass motherfuckers always do. Spitting that venom. Trying to prevent. And stop. Ain't you? God don't like ugly. Just because you rolling around. Riding around with your good job now. Don't mean you will in the future. A job ain't promise. Your good health ain't promise. That equipment you riding around ain't promised. You better watch that venom you spitting on people. You better learn to give sympathy when sympathy is due. And if you ain't got nothing good to say, it's close your mouth. Don't comment. Because if the shoe was on the other foot and it was me watching you, I wouldn't be cruel on here. Taking certain shit out of your video. Talking about, he said he's going to sit around. Because I already know what that I'm doing. I'm trying to do that to prevent you from getting help. I'm trying to convince other people of my sick narrative that I created in my fucking head about you. And I'm going to vocalize it through commenting on her site. That's all you doing. You need to stop. God don't like ugly. You need to stop. And these people that's been messing with me, fucking with me, causing all these problems, I'm telling you, judgment day is coming. You may not got your judgment right here in the courts when I try to get you in the court, but that day when you get ready to check out, best believe, it's coming. Dirty trucking out. Better learn to be kind. Stop being cruel. Because this situation can be you.